Hi everyone, I'm going to do a quick video to show you how to reprogram uh, a fob. In my case, it's a Dodge Ram. Uh, this is the original key. You do have to have one original key that's working to use this kit. Um, this kit is Simple Key. I got it from TomsKeys.com and they have a whole bunch of different types. So I just went down and found a 2009 Dodge Ram and ordered the kit and I did get an extra key fob. Uh, it comes with a separate set of rubber buttons as well. As I mentioned, you need at least one original key that's working. Again, contact the uh, Tom's Keys. If you don't, there is some help on this on the website for if you don't have all the keys. In my case, I do have actually two working keys, but both of them continue to unlock the truck when I'm walking away. It just keeps unlocking all the time. So uh, I don't want to risk having my truck unlocked when I'm not with it. So I ordered uh, a new key fob. But first I went to the dealership to have them do it. And it was like almost $500 just for the key fob. And that wasn't even counting programming it. So I seen this on, I saw this on YouTube and thought I'd give it a try because it was basically $120 for the kit, which comes with a programmer, as well as one key fob and one replacement buttons, and um, another $30 for the additional key fob that actually matches mine exactly. Um, this is the one that came with it. I swapped those out, it's super easy to do. You just plop it open, uh, pull the rubber out, put the new circuit board in, and close it. I mean, it took me 30 seconds. So anyway, I'm going to go through the process of activating and pairing the keys. There's two steps to do this. Um, the first step is to activate it. Now, if you watch the instructions or read the instructions, it says to push and hold the panic and the lock button at the same time and a blue light should come on there. I could not find a blue light on either of these fobs. Um, so I just did it anyway and it worked. So, um, if you don't have the blue light, just go through the process. So let me take you through that process. I don't know, maybe they're already pre-activated for step one, but I went through the process anyway, and I'll explain that to you right now. To find your vehicle, you just go to the booklet on the first page, there's a table here. Just find your vehicle. Mine's a Ram 2009 to 2012. Uh, the first code is 311. There's an alternate of 312 and the programming key of three. So I'm gonna use 311. So what you wanna do is push panic and lock at the same time. And again, it should turn on a blue light there. Mine does not have a blue light. There is a little dot right there that maybe a light can shine through, but I even had it in the dark, I could not see it. So um, I just went through the process. Again, this might be pre-activated for the Dodge but you just push and click, a blue light will come on here, and then you wanna push, get your code, 311, push the lock button three times, panic button once, and the lock button once, and then push and hold the panic and lock again at the same time. Now, if there was a light, the light would repeat that flashing. But again, in my case, there was no light. I put it in complete darkness, there is no light. Um, but it did seem to work when I programmed it. So I may have went through an unnecessary step. I went ahead and did both fobs at the same time. And now we go out to the vehicle. So now I'm back at the vehicle. I'm just gonna show you in the, the Dodge Ram, the plug is actually right here. Um, it's very easy to get to. Let me shine the light on there. You can see it a little better. That's the, it's called an OSB plug. And you can actually reach it pretty easily from the driver's seat, because the key is you have to have the doors closed when you do this. 
So the plug on this comes sealed because you're limited to the number of times you can program it. Let me pull the seal off. Sorry, I'm doing this with one hand here. And this is the plug. It plugs right into there. In this case, I have these letters that are stuck on there. That's the top. Okay, so when you put it in, I'll just be plugging it in like that into there. So I try to do this the best I can. Doors have to be closed. Car off. In this case, I do have to start the car so I have the garage door open behind me for safety. Here's in my key port. Again, the uh, fob is going to be right under here. I don't know how good I'll be able to film that. Okay, so we're going to take this from the top here in the vehicle. Um, I'm inside the car. The doors are closed. The engine's off. Turning the hazards on. Insert the original key into the ignition and turn on the vehicle. Okay. I've already programmed mine, so I'm gonna go through the motions to show you, but it worked really well. I hope you can take my word for it. What you wanna do is plug this into the OSB port below. And what you're gonna hear is initially there's gonna be a double beep and then wait about five, six seconds, and you're gonna hear uh, three beeps, like beep, 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 really quick, okay? And then basically what you're gonna do, at that point is turn the key. vehicle off, and then remove the key, and then if you have position three, like we do, you just insert the new key, this is the new key, into the ignition, and put it into the on position. Don't crank it all the way. So then you get your programmer and you push, there's a button on the end here. You can see it right there. Push that and you'll get those same three beeps. Real quick note, okay? Once you get that, you turn off the ignition, turn off the key, push the button again, you're gonna get those same three you're gonna get a little tone, tune a little bit more than the three beeps it's like a little musical tune and basically you're done at that point you install the easy installer programmer unplug it from underneath and um, try your key out in this case let's put the new key in so i'm gonna get a whole video of my lap so i apologize for that here's the new key works fine and just check the door locks on it. Works fine, and I've already tested the remote start at work. I don't have a trunk on my truck, so that's fine. Um, this is gonna be the spare anyway, but it's really, really that simple. Um, it worked really well. I don't know if I had to have the blue light on the very beginning of the activation phase or not, um, but it worked. I did two keys uh, just to do the second key. I just started all over again with the process from uh, turning on the car from the with the the original key and so forth. I just re, I just repeated those steps for the second key and both of them worked great. So in conclusion, I just want to say that this worked really well. I'm very impressed by how simple the process was. I was a little disappointed. I actually have a tag in for customer service to answer the question about the blue light not coming on. Um, but I, it turns out I really didn't need it, so I'll ignore that for now. Um, again, here's the simple key, like tomskeys.com. And uh, it comes with everything you see here, the programmer or key foot key and the fob with an extra set of buttons if you need it. Like I, this is for a minivan, I don't need that. Yeah. And um, get extra keys for $30. These key fobs have an internal key for emergencies. Uh, this does come with a blank, so you will have to have it cut at your local hardware store, or you can have it done through photos with tomskeys.com. You send them some pictures of your original key and they will match it. Um, again, I'm gonna take mine down to my local hardware store. Uh, there is a charge to have it done through Tom's Keys, um, but 
I'm going to have it done locally. So if you have a need for a new key fob, this is an affordable way to replace an existing key fob. It works really well. It's very simple to program and I highly recommend it. So hopefully this was useful to some of y'all and um, you enjoyed it. Let me know what you want to see in future videos and I'll see you then. Thank you.